Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another rapid fire guide with down to earth astronomy. Today's topic is going to be the heads up display of your ship and all its components. And let's start in the upper left hand corner where you have the comms panel. Here you have access to chats, you can access your friends list, you can join wings, multi crew, and you also get information about your mission updates as they come. In the upper right hand corner we have an info box. This one serves as a log about what's going on around you. This will tell you when new ships enters your scan range or leaves. It will also tell you if you managed to salvage some data from scanning a ship or an object. In the lower left hand corner we have yet another info box. This one holds basic information about your currently locked target, like which faction it belongs to and how dangerous it is to engage in case of the ship. To the right of that we have a hologram showing not only the orientation of your currently locked target, so you can see if they're moving away towards you, but also their shield strength shown as three blue rings around the ship. And below it, you can see the ship's hull strength. Moving to the center, we have the main display, which is the ship's scanner. To the left of that, we have the ship's heat indicator that will show you how hot your ship internals are. If that goes over 100%, that means you're beginning to take heat damage. At the center, we of course have the scanner. This shows where ships are in relation to your ship. Filled squares are NPCs. Filled triangles are NPCs with hardpoint deployed. A Non-filled square is a player without hardpoints deployed, and a non-filled triangle is then of course a player with hardpoints deployed. White objects are scannable objects or things floating in space. Below the scanner we have a small square indicating the zoom level of your scanner. This allows you to get either a bigger field of view or a narrower field of view, depending on what you want to do. This can be bound in the binding options. To the right of the scanner you have your speedometer or your throttle indicator. The blue bar indicates the maximum velocity or the maximum throttle you can use while still maintaining full maneuverability of your ship. Go over the blue marker and you'll begin to lose maneuverability. At the top you have your current velocity in meters per second and to all the way to the right shows your current max speed depending on how much power you've currently uh, located to your engines. So if you move power away from your engines you will see it go down and you can no longer go to those maximum velocities and if you begin to put power back into your engines you will see your velocity go up. Moving further along we now have our own ship hologram again just as with our target ship hologram this shows our own ship's shield strength and hull strength. Next to that we have the ship's power management system. Here you can move pips over to shields which of course power your shields and will strengthen them. You can move pips to engines which gives you more thrust and more maneuverability or you can move pips to weapons, which allows you to fire your weapons for longer. Above it, as small horizontal bars, we can see how much power is currently stored in the capacitor for each system. In the lower right-hand corner, we have a variety of indicators. At the top, we'll get small notifications if we are, for instance, speeding around the station, if we are hostile to the system, if we're wanted, or carrying illegal passengers or goods. Below that, we have a small spectrogram showing your heat signature, as seen from other ships. So if I boost, for instance, you will see that my heat signature goes up, or if I turn on silent running, you will see that my heat signature disappears completely as the external vents are now closed. Below that, first we can see how much fuel we're currently consuming every hour. Under that, we have a fuel indicator showing how much fuel is currently left in our ship. Then we have three indicators, one for mass lock, showing you that you're too close to a massive object like the station in front of us here, that prevents you from going to supercruise or jumping to another system. Then you have an indicator showing that your landing gear is down or that your cargo scoop is open. And that concludes this quick guide of the heads up display in Elite Dangerous. If you have other areas of the game that you want me to do a quick tutorial on, let me know in the comment section down below. If you liked the video, remember to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, I will see you guys in space.